Hi. My name is Nikhil Handigar, and uh, I'm a networking researcher at Stanford University. I'm interested in the problem of load balancing, and I'm here to show you how Genie helped me implement and validate my research ideas in a real-world setting. Today, load balancing is prevalent in almost all scale-out internet services. It's critical to applications running in data center networks, such as those in Google, in wide area content distribution networks, such as Akamai, and in enterprise networks consisting of multiple campuses, like HP. When we say load balancing, we normally think of a big, expensive box called the load balancer, which sits in front of a network takes in requests from the clients, and then distributes them across a set of replicated servers. When we have multiple gateways in our networks, we set up multiple load balancers. But my problem is that my network looks something like this. It's not custom designed for load balancing. My servers are spread almost arbitrarily across the network, and my request can enter the network from almost anywhere. With this network, I want to deliver the content to my clients in the fastest way possible. So I asked myself, how do we do load balancing in such networks? Do we have to buy lots of these boxes, each costing hundreds of thousands of dollars? Even if we do, where would I place them in the network without creating bottlenecks? This got me thinking. Load balancing is just smart routing. So if I have control over routing in my network, can't my network itself do load balancing for me? This led us to believe that load balancing should be just a network primitive. So I had these ideas going on in my head. But how could I validate them? Then I heard about Genie, about Genie's computation and network resources spanning the entire country. Resources that could be sliced. So I built my load balancing system called Asterix, got myself a slice, simply added Asterix to, uh, to my slice, and I'm all set. My slice spans nine campuses across the US and consists of Planet Lab and native Linux servers interconnected by OpenFlow switches. This is how Asterix works. There's an Asterix controller that watches the slice for incoming requests. And for each incoming request, the controller picks a server and a path to the server and simply programs the network to route the request over the chosen path. Thus, Asterix turns the network itself into one giant distributed load balancer. More importantly, Asterix jointly selects the path and the server, which no existing load balancing system can do today. Let's now see Asterix in action. Again, uh, on the left screen, you're seeing my genie slice, which after some reorganization looks something like this, what you're seeing on the center screen. On the right screen, you'll very soon see a live histogram of the number of requests being served by each server in my topology. And the center GUI will actually show how the requests are being routed in the network. So to start off with, I'm just going to do random load balancing. That is, for each incoming request, I'll pick one of the servers randomly and route to it. So phase one, I want you all to get a feel for how Asterix works. I want you to take out your phones and call the number on the left screen. Asterix will load balance your calls. So as the calls enter the network, you can see how they're being routed by Asterix. Here, the histogram uh, shows how the number of requests being served by each server. And on the rightmost column, you're actually seeing a list of the phone numbers that are generating the calls. On your phones, you should be able to hear a message from the actual server that is answering your call. So I'll, I'll give you a few seconds to have fun with Asterix.
All right, let's move on to the second part of the demo. Here, I'm going to show you how I can validate my research ideas using Genie. Within Asterix, I can build different load balancing algorithms, different ways of choosing a server and a path. And I want to know, to deliver content in the fastest way possible, how do I jointly optimize the server and path selection? So this is the problem that I'm interested in. So uh, I am now going to synthetically generate a large number of requests and try out the different load balancing algorithms we have developed. So again, uh, on the center screen, uh, what you're seeing is the topology of my slice. The right screen shows the histogram, the live histogram that you saw uh, earlier. On the left screen, you will see a time series of the response times as seen by the clients. So to start off, I'm going to do random load balancing. So the random load balancing algorithm picks one of the servers randomly and chooses a fixed spanning tree path uh, to the server. So let's start some load. Let's start some requests. So as requests are generated, you can see how they're being routed. Uh, if you look at the histogram, you can actually see that Asterix is just uniformly distributing the load across the servers, which is actually not an optimal strategy, given how heterogeneous my servers and the networks are. So, I mean, we normally think of load balancing as like uniformly distributing the load, but that turns out that it turns out that it's not really an optimal strategy. The effect is evident on the response times that you see in the time series on your left screen. So you can see peaks in the response time, and so I ask myself, can I do something better? Maybe yes. So uh, I developed a, a smart load balancing algorithm, which jointly optimizes the server selection and the path selection based on the congestion information. So let's now switch to the smart algorithm. OK. Let's keep an eye on the time series on the left screen. As you can see, the time series has, has gone down. The graph has gone down significantly. And if you watch your right screen, turns out that as the smart algorithm is not actually equally distributing the load. It is making a smarter decision. So the higher level point that I'm trying to make here is Genie helped me to implement and validate my research ideas in a real world setting. Now, I'm not only all set to implement Asterix in a production setting, but also confident about it. So uh, KK now is going to do a wireless demo. <laughs> 